And so, of course, we're not the first version of a humanoid culture to encounter this technology. And it's used various ways in different cultures, different uh, time spaces. Um, and the, the fact that it is used to transcend time, the fact that there is a time component to it, is baffling for us as three-dimensional entities. Because the, the time-space uh, continuum is not what it appears. It's actually very different. And so the process of encountering this technology is a sort of learning process. There has to be learning that goes on about the nature of the technology that comes with the uh, presence of its utilization. And some people say that the Egyptians and uh, some other ancient cultures had similar technology. Some say that the the Egyptians were uh, using the natural resource. They were using this uh, persistent uh, St. Elmo's fire as a resource. And so they, they had a, a sort of system that was dependent on it. And when it went away, um, their culture collapsed. And these natural cycles uh, appear to be the way for most uh, cultures. In the case of our culture, we started using uh, the alternating current and making things with it before we really understood what it was. So we started doing things with something before we really realized what we were doing. And so there was a certain naivete involved with our um, adapt adapting this technology. What Tesla really discovered was a way to take advantage of the pre-existing folds in space-time. So what is it exactly that we can expect? Well, if you can imagine living 100 years after the invention of fire, what that might have been like, how much the world has changed um, because of fire, um, man's understanding of how to control fire. I think that's a uh, an adequate um, 
analogy in this situation, I think that the discovery of the way to manipulate electricity and um, how to use uh, this type of medium for a conduit for communication and for spirit um, consciousness. I think if you if you think about how that's happening, if you think about what's happening there, I think that gives us a really good idea of what we might be uh, encountering uh, sometime in the not too distant future. we had the television, before we had the telephone, a pre-existing network was in use um, and is in use in various uh, various cultures and various time spaces. Um, the natural, uh, quote unquote natural, uh, mechanisms. And so if you if you look at those, if you if you see past the uh, the sort of ignorance that would assign the, uh, the Native Americans' use of a fire uh, to communicate to um, uh, smoke signals, right? No, no, that's not right. Um, they, ha they understood things about the nature of fire that allowed them to work with the medium in a way that we don't, we can't fathom because it's not our technology. And so, they didn't, they didn't share that, they hid that information. And we misunderstood, um, at least a lot of the Western culture uh, misunderstood uh, what that was all about. And so we, we have these, these stories about the, the Native Americans uh, sending smoke signals and when they were actually using the fire itself in a way that most people would not even believe is possible. So final words, keep an open mind, a compassionate heart, try to be as understanding as possible, don't let yourself be misled, and stand up for what is true.